Hi, this is Cynthia Horner from Right on Digital, and we are doing a very exciting interview today with Dr. Contessa Metcalf from Married to Medicine. So, welcome to our platform, and we will jump right in. Um, Thank you, you for having me. <laughs> well, you are so welcome. And it's so interesting. Your bio has so many fun facts about you. For instance, it tells that you are into motorcycle riding and that in the past, when yes. you, maybe that you, you were actually flying planes and all of that. Now tell us about how it is to be such a fearless person. <laughs> You know what it is? I think um, I grew up like really sheltered, right? And so mm -hmm. I just always wanted to have experiences. I felt like, you know, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, actually, you know, the Midwest. And I just felt like I wanted to see what was out there in the world. And I wanted to experience as many things as I could. And that is kind of what brought me to going away to college and to, you know, taking kind of every opportunity by the horns. And just living outside of my comfort zone, or at least on the fringe of my comfort zone, because that's almost where great and memorable experience happen, experiences happen. So yeah, so that's kind of what led me there. I mean, I, I'm just so happy to have the opportunities that my parents didn't have, and I just don't want to take that for granted. Well, that's a wonderful answer. And another fun fact about you is one of your models, which is food is medicine. And prevention mm -hmm. is the key to healthy living. And I think that's very yes. important because so many of us need to change our eating habits. So can you tell me um, how you adopted this particular mantra? Absolutely. So I really practice preventive and lifestyle medicine. And so what I do is I want people to not get chronic disease. But if you do have a chronic disease, how can we minimize in organ damage or impairment of your, you know, morbidity, like the quality of your life? And what we have learned more than ever before in the last several years is how important what you put into your body is to the diseases and the outcomes that you have. And so, I mean, even diet can reverse disease. And so plant-based living, um, not saying that you're not, you're not supposed to eat any meat, or but just understanding that really keeping your diet as close to plants as, as you know, the Mediterranean diet as possible is really going to help with longevity, it's going to help with energy, sleep, it's going to lessen your blood pressure, it's going to decrease, you know, mental illness, including depression, anxiety, and overall, you're just going to feel good after you eat. And so I learned that kind of the hard way because I'm kind of a candy addict. <laughs> Oh, wow. But I feel horrible. Yes, I am a candy addict. And I, you know, was blessed with kind of a fast metabolism when I was younger. But of course, when, you know, you start becoming a woman of a certain age, you realize that those empty calories and those bad for you things catch up with you. And I just really started to having some, you know, I was moving slow, joints were hurting, gaining weight, just not my personal best. And I changed my diet and it changed my life. Wow. If somebody decides that they want to start um, cleaning up their act, which, yeah. which um, item do you think they should remove out of their diet first, sugar or salt? Sugar for sure. Okay. Sugar is the source of, sugar is the worst thing that actually anyone could ever ingest. I mean, there needs to be some level of salt and iodine in your diet, but you don't need sugar. You don't need it at all. You definitely don't need anything artificial. Um, if it didn't come from the earth, you probably don't need it. Um, so that's the challenge because we are so written and you know immersed in manufactured foods. And so it's trying the best you can to eat, you know, kind of like our ancestors ate is going to lead to better outcomes overall. So that will be first sugar for sure. Oh, okay. and just see how your, your headaches, your, you know, your headaches improve, your energy improves. It's weird. It's like, you think sugar gives you energy, but it actually, you go through withdrawal when you don't have it and you just crave more and more of it. But one thing that sugar does is you actually don't get satiety. You don't feel full. People are afraid of fats and things like protein and fat, but at least with that, you actually, 
you can't overeat so per se. Like you don't, with sugar, you can eat a bag of candy and a bag of chips and you're just like, eh, I, I still am hungry because you don't actually fulfill any of those nutritional requirements that you needed for your cells to be okay and for them to function. So that will be first for me, for sure. Sugar has no, no function. Even though I love it, it has no function whatsoever. In our <laughs> you are such an incredible speaker. I, I love hearing you talk. I think oh, that you. what you have to say is so motivational. Now, have you been able to um, motivate some of your cast members to change their diet? <laughs> well, you know, the good thing about about my castmates is that they seem to, you know, Jackie has always been pretty fit, Simone too. Um, and I think some of the women, I've, you know, I was on a fitness journey this year. I did a fitness competition and I've noticed that a couple of the women on the show are also kind of partaking in some of the lifting weights and resistance training. They don't necessarily credit me, but you know, they didn't do it before I did it. So, you know, I'm just going to say sometimes flat, you know, Imitation is the biggest flattery, you know, right? So yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I think there are, I think, I think some people are, but I don't want to take credit for it, but you know, yeah, oh, okay. I think I have, have had a positive influence on some people. Now, how do you enjoy being on this type of series? Because of course you get a lot of visibility yeah. and I'm sure your family, everywhere they go, people say, hey, they're, they're connected to a woman from medi married to medicine. So what have been some of the interesting highlights from being involved with reality TV? Well, one of the biggest benefits for me, I'm a female veteran. I was in the Navy. And so I think one thing that people don't really necessarily associate with the military is kind of a regular, like, you know, a a, just a regular person, right? An educated woman. And there are several of us in the military and the military is actually, has been instrumental in the success of my life. Um, so one, that is something that people have reached out to me and said, because of, you know, you showing me that, that regular, you know, like just not, cause you sometimes will think kids go to the military, people go to the military when they're in trouble or they don't have any options or they don't have a plan. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a corporation just like anything else. And we want the top and best minds. And I actually trained, I did my first residency in the Navy and they pay for my medical school. So that's an opportunity opportunity for some people like me who didn't come from means and who was worried about how I was going to pay and finance my education. The military was a wonderful opportunity to do that. And so showing people and people who have come to me and said, I've encouraged my child to consider that, or I've done it myself. I'm, you know, I wanted to go to grad school and I couldn't come up with the money or I'm a single parent and I was looking for a career choice. And this has been a, a resource for, for me. So that's one. And the second one is because I didn't come from means. Again, you sometimes think that only people who maybe, you know, had a two parent household and, you know, educated parents can go to medical school. I had no doctors in my family before I went to medical school. And I think now for sure, I get a bunch of people reach out to me and say, you that fear that I had that I wasn't worthy or I couldn't do it because of my pedigree is been, you know, has been suppressed because of you sharing your opportunities and experiences with us. And that's to me, that's all it's about. Like at this point, it's all about giving back and whatever I can do to be transparent and show someone that if I did it, you can do it too. And the journey is not authentically just to me. You know, I'm no different. I'm no better. I'm no smarter. I'm no more committed. I don't, des I'm no more deserving. So I think that has been, uh, you know, I've been able to resonate with people with that. And people have said, I got my degree. I finished, went back to school. You know, I, I had a dream that I had put off and now I did it. And thank you for sharing your journey. So. Well, that's a wonderful answer. I know we're going to have to wrap up soon, but I have to ask you about your eye makeup. It is really awesome. So tell us about Thank you. Tell us about <laughs> some of your beauty secrets. Sure. I can't, I must admit, um, I, my makeup was done by Timothy. Um, the Tim, the magic, you know, makeup magician, he, he is amazing and he made me look spectacular. And, you know, I have learned as a part of this entertainment and television journey to the grooming part. I mean, I'm, historically a girl with glasses and a bun and some tinted moisturizer, but I do try to take care of my skin. I try to drink a gallon of water 
every day. I drink yeah. lots and lots of water. Um, and that's the key. And I eat well, but my skin is actually, I, I do, I focus on making, trying to do whatever I can to, you know, make my skin glow. And, um, but yeah, but today I actually got my makeup done. So for you, I got my makeup done for you. Well, so. you look great. <laughs> and I want thank to you. thank you so much for being part of what we're doing here at Write On Digital, which is the digital component of the legendary, iconic Write On magazine. So we will connect with you again in the future because there are so many different topics that I'd love to talk to you about. And um, okay. we'll get to them all at some point. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody okay. or... Sure, absolutely. So first shout out, of course, is to my three children, Lauren, Landon, and Layla, and my husband, Scott. My sister, Michonne, is in Kansas City, and my brother, Gerald, and my daddy, Gerald. He's in Kansas City as well. So big shout out to them. Okay. And which is your favorite social media handle so that people can follow you? Do you like Instagram? Yep, so I'm Dr. Contessa. Yeah, I'm Dr. Contessa pretty much on all social media platforms and, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay. I think even Snapchat. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. You as well. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.